Today is Jackie Robinson Day. We celebrate the man that he was, the outstanding player that he was, not just what he did on the field, but the societal changes that he made. 77 years ago today, Jackie Robinson debuted for the Brooklyn Dodgers, breaking the color barrier in MLB, a historic event, obviously, that we are honored to be able to recognize each and every year. They get Joe Ross today, fantastic in his last appearance. Yeah, got to win at Cincinnati, six and a third. He pitched into the seventh inning, five hits, two earned runs, one walk to walk. Walks hurt him in his first start. Walked five in his first start of the season. One walk, seven punch outs. He was a first round draft choice at East San Diego Padres back in 2011. There's strike three. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night for Xander Bogarts. It can't start out much better than that. A three pitch strikeout. This one right down the middle. Good velocity at 97. Tatis with the soft ground ball to second base. Terang throws him out. Two quick outs for Joe Ross. This one hit towards left. Freelick angling towards the line with a play. And it's a 1-2-3 inning for Joe Ross. Uh, Joe Musgrove, 31-year-old, uh, takes the mound for his ninth career start against the Brewers. This season, fifth start. Numbers are a little high. That's what a an outing early on will do when they get to you a little bit. Jackson Churio back in the starting lineup. And a bullet to left, a base hit for Churio. Profar cuts it off. After a tough weekend in Baltimore, Churio one for one. Two and oh. There goes Churio. Throw to second base. Not in time. Churio got the hand in. No challenge from San Diego. That's the first stolen base against Musgrove this season. And that's a four pitch walk to Contreras. Willie Adamas the batter. Bat really broke out in Baltimore. Multi hit efforts in all three games over the weekend. Ground ball left side to play base hit. Churio sent around third. He will score. It's 1 0. Willie put that one just out of the reach of Hassan Kim. Cutter ended up middle in. Willie didn't hit it all that great, but it got in a good spot. And on the ground, Churio running on contact, and he's able to score easily. Grounded up the middle. It'll be Kim near the bag. One on to first, and a double play to end the inning. Brewers get one. And that's all in the first against Joe Musgrove. Manny Machado, he's the DH. Got him. Fastball on the edge. Second K for Ross. Oh, that glove side fastball has been really good for him his last couple of starts. One, one on Profar. Ground ball right side. Terang again. Two up, two down. Hey, take about 10 of those in a start, wouldn't you? Those one pitch outs. One and two from Ross to Kim. And that's it hard on a line in the left field base hit. First knock of the night for the Padres, a two out single for Hassan Kim here in the second inning. 0 oh, 2 pitch, runner goes. It's a swing and a miss, and Ross gets out of the inning. A couple of hits from the Padres, that is all. Blake Perkins, who had himself a nice road trip. Perkins, beautiful piece of hitting for a knock. Three hits yesterday, got one in his first A.B. tonight. There he goes, there and it is. it's hit through the right side, yeah. a base hit. Perkins, though, didn't get a read on it. Going to try to go to third on Fernando, and he is out at third. He slid head first into second, and then tried to run on Tatis. Fernando just comes up firing. Oh, oh you're going to try to run on me? He really didn't get that good jump. He hesitated a little bit, it looked like. And it had to be a perfect throw. It gets him on the backside just before he hit. Hits the bag there. Five hits for the Brewers in the first inning and two thirds. Musgrove in front of Churio, who has scored the only run of this game so far. Hit to left, deep, warning track at the wall, and it is gone. Jackson Churio, home run number three. All of his home runs coming at home. They got a change up that time. He's for real, folks. A one two pitch and he knocked it out of the ballpark. Every one of his home runs coming on an off speed pitch and 97 off the bat and he's going to be a good one. Joe Ross back to work in this fourth inning. That's ball four on Cronenworth to open up this fourth inning. Two and two to Machado and Manny golfs that one out of his shallow left center field and he has found some green space. What a read by Cronenworth. He ends up at third. And the Padres are going to bring the tying run to the plate with nobody out here in the fourth inning. 3-2. He stays put. Popped him up. Left field side. Ortiz into foul ground for the catch. That's a huge first out. Kim a single to left. Had the first hit of the game for the Padres in the second inning. Kim bounces it the other way. That is Terang. Goes to second. Not in time at first. And Cronenworth comes in to score the first Padre run of the night. As a hitter, you're like, oh, first of all, you're ticked off. You don't want to ground to the double play. So what do you do? You got to gear it up, bust the move, and he does, and he beats it out. Infield hit, line drive by Wade, and then a Texas leaguer by Bogart. Bases loaded, nobody out. To say that Ross is in a jam would be an understatement. Again, he was in a jam last inning. Only allowed the one run. Tatiso for two. 
On the ground the other way. Terang, long way to go. The only play is to first. Camposano comes in to score, and it's a one-run game. Three at-bats, three pitches for Fernando. Getting the run home. And Bogart sits second and Wade at third. Padres down by one here in the fifth inning. That's oh. off the glove of the catcher, Contreras. Here comes Wade, and it's a tie game. A passed ball on Contreras. Wow, what a break. And now the infield in for Milwaukee. Cronenworth able to lay off. And now three balls and no strikes. San Diego was challenging. There was catcher's interference. Ah. Watch the glove of Contreras. Does it change directions after contact? Oh, yeah. Another catcher's interference with Jake Cronenworth at the dish. And now you're going to have men on first and third, one out for Machado. On the ground, up the middle. Nice sliding backhand play, but Adamas can't collect it. And the Padres take the lead as Bogarts comes in to score. A pass ball, catcher's interference. And now a near miss after a nice play by Terang trying to flip it to Adamas. Time called by Hassan Kim. And are we going to get a pitch timer violation? Yes. Pitch timer violation on Joe Ross when he had Kim on the ropes. It's going to lead to a walk. And the ninth man to hit in the inning will be Jackson Merrill. Into center field. Perkins on the move. Can't get there. Drops down for another base hit. Couple of runs going to score. And a little Merrill Madness here in Milwaukee as the Padres lead it 6-3. to three. Camposano's infield single began all the trouble for Ross here in the fifth inning. Luis would score the first Padre run here in the fifth. They have now scored five times. Camposano muscles it out to left field, and that's down for another base hit. Kim will come in and score. And a 7-3 Padre lead as Camposano collects his second hit of the inning. Joe Ross, some bad luck in this fifth inning. Padres still hitting, and Chiago Vieira being summoned out of the Brewers' bullpen. 2-2. Swing and a miss gets by Contreras covering it first is Hoskins and finally the inning is over Stephen Kolick on the mound going to try and close this thing out he worked a one two three eighth inning and with a four run lead in the bottom of the ninth he remains on the mound for the Padres sends this one in the air straightaway center field Merrill has space and one down in the bottom of the ninth inning got him 95 mile an hour fastball. And the Brewers down to their final out here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Base is empty. Two outs in the bottom of the ninth inning. And Oliver Dunn will pinch hit for Joey Ortiz. Ground ball. Ooh, busted bat. Scary play. Dunn's going to get a base hit out of it. Unbelievable athleticism for Kolick to avoid the barrel of this broken bat by Dunn. Got rid of the baseball, jumped up immediately, and you know, the bat missed him. Kind of jackknifed out of the way. That's up and in for ball four. So Churio works a walk. And Mike Schilt going to go out there and call upon his closer to get one final out here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Torres out of the bullpen trying to collect his save. He needs one out with a four run lead here in the bottom of the ninth. To the right side. Bogarts ranging, fielding, throwing. Safe is the call as Contreras clipped Cronenworth. Well, how about that? Sal Freelich, one for four in his career with the bases loaded, facing Robert Suarez for the first time. Jurickson is there, and the ball game is over. And the Padres take game one of this series.